Hey guys, it's Sabrina here posting another video blog and I wanted to um, <clears throat> apologize for being late obviously with this blog. Um, I had said a couple of days ago that I was going to put a blog up about the joys of winter. Well, for the past few days I really haven't been able to get out and do um, things like going for a Timmy's run. My friends and I really like to go to Timmy's once in a while to kind of hang out and get away from the building for a while. Um, but lately it's been difficult with winter to do that. So I kind of, I've been getting really bored. And so the other day I went to Walmart and I just decided to browse a little, bought a few groceries, a couple things I needed for the apartment, including a large thing of dish soap for $3, of course, plus taxes. But still, three dollars. Um, very, uh, it's very large. I'm very happy that I found it. It was on sale, so I won't use dish soap for a while. And um, but anyway, that's the trick of it all. You have to uh, be safe, obviously, if you're going on the sidewalk or. In some cases, it's very impossible to uh, ride on the sidewalk. I know I've been in certain situations where I just could not get across the sidewalk without getting stuck. Now, sometimes if my friend gets stuck, it's very difficult for him to get out. So sometimes if we're on it together, I'll kind of give his power chair a pull to kind of get him out and uh, sometimes you know we all need help but it's tricky getting around sometimes in the winter um, so it's always a good idea to be careful uh, they say a lot of people tend to discourage us from going out and obviously if it's totally unsafe we're not going to even try it I mean, the other day, <clears throat> we didn't even try. I mean, I I went as far as I could before I realized we could have gotten stuck, and I didn't even t attempt to go where I thought it was really bad. I just turned back around and went back <laughs> to the building because there was no way I was getting through. Um, and then tonight we ended up trying it. Um, Things went well until a certain point, and then my friend got stuck. I got stuck a couple times, but was able to get out of it myself. And a couple times, the one time when they told us to go on the road, there were people on the street who tried to help us, and they told us to go on the road because it was easier. So we stayed as close as we could to the curb, um, and we safely got home, so that was good. Um, but yeah, it, it can be really dicey in the winter, and it's, it's really a pain uh, when the city doesn't do the sidewalk. It's very frustrating. Um, <clears throat> and same thing with uh, at my building. The sidewalks aren't always done the greatest, and I have to sometimes... I've been known to call the city and say that like the parking lot needs to be straightened out. I've done that before. I've called the city, literally called City Hall, um, and they came within the hour one day to scrape out the parking lot. But I'm very adamant to be able to get around, whether it's winter, spring, summer, or fall, it doesn't matter what season. Um, it's really a challenge <clears throat> getting around in the winter. That's the worst one. So today I had a great visit with my mom. She was here and helped me with a few things, and we sat and had a coffee together. So it kind of breaks up my boredom a little bit, having people visit me. Um, it's very hard for me to really buckle down and get some of my housework done. I mean, I know it has to be done, but it's very... People like to visit. I like to visit, too. Don't get me wrong. But um, one of my weaknesses about independent living is that I have to really buckle down and get some housework done. And my mom jokes with me about it all the time. Um, she's like, it's a mess in here. I'm like, 
yeah, I'll get to it or whatever. Like, I'll do this, I'll do that, like, don't worry. But she's always wanting to help me out, and I appreciate that very much. Um, but yeah, so I've been joked with about the way that I need to do my housework in more than one occasion. Usually my table's a mess. I'm not the most organized person. Um, but it's funny because as far as bills or budget, I'm usually pretty good, like financially, um, knowing what I can afford and what I can't. That was a real adjustment when I first moved into the building. Um, I know this is kind of a mixed blog. <laughs> it really is. I'm just kind of rambling, but what can I say except I love living independently. Um, at times it's very hard, and I I miss my family sometimes. I miss living at home, but I'm loving being independent, being able to get out and do what I can do, and I'm thankful for every task I can still do independently, because I've been dealing with through palsy now for 30 years. Um, obviously, myself, I really physically started dealing with it when I got past the baby stages, but you know how that works. Babies don't do much um, <laughs> at the start anyways, but basically I have been I was born with the condition diagnosed at eight months old, so um, it's definitely been a challenge, <laughs> especially since I lived independently, but there are some things that have really gotten better, like my startle response. The only um, time I really startled was Remembrance Day of last year, 2015. <sighs> My mom and I were at the ceremony, and they were shooting off the, like, 21-gun salute, and I had the world's biggest startle response, um, <laughs> and I could still feel it in my legs two hours later. I was at work, and I'm like, oh, my leg, and I just could not get rid of, like, the cramps. It took me, like, all day to get rid of it, so... I must have really jarred a muscle, but anyway, that um, is has gotten better. The startle response, uh, like I'm even, I know some staff here get nervous at certain things I do. So I'm just stubborn. I don't like to. If I can do it, I like to try to do it myself. Um, like grabbing my coffee in the morning. Sometimes the staff will just do it for me, and sometimes I'll do it. I try to do it as best I can. Um, so, yeah. Some things have gotten better about, you know, my condition and all. And I kind of always think to myself, there's always somebody worse off than me. I know I might ramble on and on about how people can do things so much faster than me, but that's only because I wish I could be that quick, and I realize I can't. Um, certain things are beyond my control, so I really try not to complain, and that's why doing these YouTube videos, I find, is a great, um, what do you call it, like, reliever, like, I, I feel like I can vent into cyberspace about it, <laughs> like, um, I mean, obviously not every aspect of my condition should be public, um, but <clears throat> I do like being able to talk about things. I'm generally an open book, so if you guys have any questions, comments, feel free to let me know. Um, and don't forget to check out my Facebook page, too, A Day in the Life of Sabrina. Um, I post my video blogs there as well. So if you want to check that out, feel free to do so. You can private message me. Uh, you can email me at sabrina86 at kojigo.ca. Um, and I'll be happy to answer your questions that way if you want to email me. Um,
But yeah, that's basically what I wanted to talk about. I'm sorry, it's a rambling kind of a blog, but I wanted to get the blog up there. Um, it's going to be a while before I upload it. Let's see, today is Thursday, so I'm going to upload it tomorrow morning. So this will be pre-recorded, obviously, like every blog pretty much is. But anyway, I can never do my blogs live because you have to record them before they go on YouTube. But, so, this will be posted tomorrow, which is Friday, January the 15th. Um, and I hope that you all like this blog. Like I said, I know I'm rambling, but <laughs> sometimes that's how these blogs turn out. And I've heard other blogs like that, too, so I'm not afraid to ramble a little. Uh, but... <clears throat> Do feel free to comment, um, any questions, comments, ideas for future blogs. I love hearing your opinions, um, and I just, for some strange reason, really enjoy talking about my condition and uh, the aspects that I struggle with and the positive aspects of it, because there are both struggles and positive um, situations. Please let me know. Uh, two things, and I will be posting future blogs soon. Thank you, and have a great day.